Hello there. In this video, I'll guide you step by step on how to remove a domain from Google Workspace. This task may seem daunting at first, but rest assured, it's a straightforward process when you follow the steps carefully. Removing a domain from your Google Workspace is important when you no longer need it or when you are transitioning to a new domain setup. Once on the Google Workspace platform, the next step is to sign in using the Google account that has administrative privileges. Click on the Next button to proceed to the Google Workspace dashboard. Think of this dashboard as your central command center where you can manage various settings and configurations of your Google Workspace environment. Now, direct your attention to the Account section. You can find this by clicking on the Navigation menu within the Admin Console. Look for the option labeled Accounts and click on it. This will open up a suite of account management tools at your disposal. In the account section, the next step is to find and click on domains. This segment is crucial because it encompasses everything related to domain management within Google Workspace. Once you're in the domain section, you'll see various options for managing your existing domains. Select Manage Domains from the menu. Here, you'll see all the details pertinent to your domains, including any additions, removals, or tweaks you wish to make. Here you will find option like Remove, Near the Domain, Note it out. This is the secondary domain. You can't remove a primary domain in Google Workspace. To do so, add a secondary domain, make it primary, then remove the old one, but in trial period, you are not allowed to do this. You can even cancel Workspace if you no longer need any domains. So, let's remove secondary. Click Remove, it will show pop-up of confirmation. Hit Remove Domain and boom, it will be gone. And there you have it. You've successfully removed the domain from Google Workspace. Always double check that you no longer need the domain or that it is not in use within your organization to avoid any disruption in your services. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more tech guides. Thanks for watching.